there is the SSC 50mm f1.4 and the NFD 50mm f1.4. How close can you get with those? Let's find out. Let's start with the SSC version of the 50mm f1.4. Unmodded, it weighs 312 grams. At f1.4, the lens is pretty sharp. The breathing is tolerable. Focus throw is about 200 degrees. The lens flares look beautiful, just like the look on the more expensive siblings. Close focus of the 50mm is good with 45cm. Closing the lens down to f2.8 sharpens up the image. Closing to f4 sharpens a bit more. This is the same shot how the framing looks on Super 35 and this is the framing on Micro Four Thirds. The 50mm SSC f1.4 has good availability and costs around $80. The NFD version of the 50mm f1.4 is next. As the NFD have the same or very similar SSC coatings and the design is the same, we can expect very similar results compared to the SSC version. Unmodded is a bit lighter at only 244 grams. At f1.4 the lens is pretty sharp, the breathing is durable, focus throw is about 200 degrees. The lens flares look beautiful, just like the SSC version. Close focus of the 50mm is good with 45cm. Closing the lens down to f2.8 sharpens up the image. Closing to f4 sharpens a bit more. The 50mm NFD f1.4 has very good availability and costs around $50. Next to each other, we would say they look more or less the same. There seems to be a tiny difference in the color temperature but nothing that you can fix easily in the grade. Differences might be due to the density of the haze. And how does that look in relation to the slightly faster 55mm f1.2 that costs about 4 times as much? From the feel they are pretty much the same. So if you want to be cheaper and you don't need the little extra bokeh and brightness, the 50mm lenses are very good bang for the buck. You will find eBay links to all of them in the description. It's time for a battle of the titans. Today we are going to compare the Canon K35 thinner lenses versus Canon FD. Let's go.
Let that nerd inside you run wild. This is legendary cine lenses on a budget with a Canon FD. Mark.